Jerry Lee. J Rock. Hands come back to you too. What is happening in here? Nitty with the millions. <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world. You're right here with J Rock. Be most. You like Super. Oh, you two bit of a Myth. Trailers have been released today. J Rock has been working, been working on the railroad all the live long day. And he is here to finally get his glimpse. Peak Last of Us 2. Stay tuned after this trailer. J Rock has something he wants to say about these leaks and all of this Rudy Pooh crying he's been hearing about. But with that being said, let's check this thing out. I know you wish things were different. Things were different. Ellie! But they ain't. Damn. Please stop. Ouch. Mm. My roof. I'm leaving tomorrow. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. So they just get to get away with this? How'd you find us? You can't stop this. I want what you want. have killed you. <laughs> Maybe you should have. Was that who I thought it was? Please think so. Jerox says this, that ending, that voice that said we should have killed you when we had the chance. What was the, the, the lady in the fireflies? Her her the leader of the Fireflies, the, the the black lady in the first one. I cannot think of her name off the top of my head, but you know who I'm talking about for those of you who have played the game. Uh, sounded like who that was. Not sure. But anyway, J-Rock says this. There's been a lot of hoopla and a lot of whining, bitching and moaning. Ching, 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 ching. You need to out. It's for the game. You need, I'm not going to buy it. Oh, know your role and shut your mouth. j -Rock says this. Based upon the leaks that I've read, first of all, Jabronis, you don't even know if they're true. You won't know until you play the game. Number one. Then that, that is confirmation. There's no going back after that. How do you know that that wasn't test footage? How do you know that Naughty Dog didn't have it leaked on purpose just to feel more lure for the game? How do you not know that they didn't do that? You don't until you play the game. But let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that the leaks are true. J Rock says this. J Rock played the first Last of Us game. Look, look. Naughty Dog did. What did they do? Shut your mouth, Jabroni and J Rock will tell you. They sucked you in. And they told one hell of a story. They made Joel and Ellie sympathetic figures in an unsympathetic world. And the fact of the matter is this, they told one hell of a story. So J-Rock has one question for you, Candy asked. 
do you not think? Do it here. Do you not think that they can tell a hell of a story, even if the leaks are true, and it's done in such a way to where you're like, don't like it? Damn, that was good. Do you not think they can do it again? Because they did it the first time. J Rock thinks they can do it again. J Rock will be playing this game. Oh, you bet your bet your candy ass is about a dollar. J Rock will be playing a SmackDown on all those candy asses in Last of Us 2. J Rock says, for those of you who decided you're not gonna play the game, that's fine with J Rock. More viewers for me. You smell what J Rock is cooking. But be it all, all that may in regards to those of you who will be playing the game. J Rock can't wait. June 19th. Right here on the People's Channel. I will be laying the smack down on their candy app. So make sure you're tuned in, locked in, ready to go. Some folks have said they might play it depending on what they hear about the leaks. Jerox says this sometimes, and, and, and I'll do it like this Jerox never thought that Ben Affleck could be a better Batman. And Christian Bale. Didn't think it. When they said that he was going to be playing Batman, j -Rock like, oh, crap. Because I saw what they did with George Clooney. I was like, whose idea was this? They better be glad that Batman is bigger than George Clooney. But the fact of the matter is that I didn't think Ben Affleck could be a better Batman than Christian Bale, especially after the dark night. He and Heath Ledger made box office history. So I damn sure didn't think Ben Affleck could pull it off. But when I saw it, with my own people's eyes, J-Rock was blown away in ways he didn't think he'd be blown away. Now, I know it's your Rudy Pooh candy ass are thinking, well, what does that have to do with this? I mean, that's, that's, this is a piece of character. Then, oh, shut your mouth. The point I'm trying to make, Jabroni, is simply this. Sometimes the new is better and the old. And you won't know it until you see it. And it doesn't matter what it's referring to, to a video game, life. It doesn't matter what it's referring to. Sometimes the new is better than the old. And until you, unless you keep an open mind. Now, if you're just a closed minded person, then I feel for you because your life probably sucks. But for those of you who keep an open mind. To at least let's see what it is first before I make a decision. Let me see it in context first. Then I'll make a decision. Then, hey, it might actually be better than you thought. But regardless of what all of the hoopla has been, J-Rock will be playing this game. And he will be landing the SmackDown on June 19th. Post your comments down below and let J-Rock know what you thought of this video. If you appreciate it and enjoy it, the great one's reaction to this, hit that like button. Subscribe and share. Check your boy out on Twitch. Go check out some of the videos on the People's channel over there. Lastly, hit that bell. You can be notified that it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba and DJ. What are you